Okay, uh, today we're going to talk about Figma's new update. Uh, not all the features, but the best feature uh, that they've been lacking for quite some time. And that is the ability to have a sticky object on scroll. So you can see I've got a, um, a little bit of a menu here, or nav bar, and when you scroll up, it sticks to the top. Isn't that fantastic? This has been a long time coming, uh, and they've even implemented it so that you can have multiple. Look at that. Fantastic. Uh, there are some limitations, uh, so there still is some hacking involved if you want to do it uh, in your normal workflows, um, but we're going to go through that. So let's uh, get started and we'll explore it a little bit together. Okay, first of all, I have a page uh, that I've created. It's a scroll page. Um, I'm just going to call that demo and get that out of the way. Okay, so I've got my scroll page. Uh, it does use auto layout. I've got my hero section, and then I've got, you know, one section here and one section here. Each of these use auto layout because if you've watched any of my other tutorials, everything I use is auto layout because it makes spacing easier. So how do we add a navigation bar on scroll? Okay, so I've got my navigation bar here. I've got two of them. We'll start with one. So I'm just going to drag this into my auto layout and it just pops down there. So that's fine. Uh, if we prototype this, you'll see it's in between those two just like it should be, okay? Uh, not ideal, I'd like it up a little further at the bottom. So with auto layout, obviously that's not a huge deal. You can just, you know, I know the height of this, which is about 115, uh, so I can just, you know, shrink this by 115 and that should show up on top. Great. So how do we make it sticky? Well, you select it, you go over to prototype and under position, uh, its default will be scroll with parent um, and you can choose stay in place or you can choose sticky. You choose sticky and when we go to our prototype, it will stick. But wait, all our other stuff goes over top of it. You can see it is holding to the top edge, but these layers are going over top. That's not what I want. Well, for auto layout, that's because you need to go into your auto layout advanced settings and choose your scan canvas stacking to first on top. So if you switch that, all of a sudden, it works. Now you've got a sticky header on scroll. Easy peasy. Uh, the reason that is, is because your header needs to be above any layer. Basically any layer that is above it will scroll uh, over top and any layer that is under it will scroll underneath. So that's why you kind of, for auto layout, you have to switch your canvas stacking. Um, so that's pretty simple. But now what if you want a second one in there? Now this is where things get a little difficult, especially with auto layout. Um, so I can drag this in. Let's say I want it over here. So we'll drag it in. Uh, I can have it in between, that's fine, because I've already got the padding here. I'm gonna go prototype. I'm, I am gonna make sure it says sticky. Um, all good. So that should work. So you can see the sticks that goes under and then wait, does it, where did it go? Why isn't it sticking on top? Because of uh, what I just mentioned before is that it needs anything under it. will go under and anything over top will go over top. So our current menu is over top of this one in the, in the stacking order. So it will stay on top. So if I just move this, that doesn't work either because it's within auto layout. So that actually moves its, moves its position within auto layout as well. So how do we solve this? Well, it kind of sucks, but there is a way to do it if you want to maintain auto layout on your master frame. Uh, if you don't want to do auto layout, you can switch this to a frame and then you can order things in whatever order you want and you're totally fine. Uh, so yeah, the easiest solution would be to take this get rid of auto layout, grab menu two, 
It's over top of menu one. So grab your menu, bring it to the top, grab menu two, bring it above it. And then, I mean, um, then everything would work, right? So that's the easiest solution is just turn everything into a frame. Um, unfortunately, you know, the problem with that is uh, you kind of lose that overarching idea of auto layout. You know, if I added another one of these, then it's just kind of here. I've got to manually position all my stuff. Not the best. I mean, you could switch it back and forth from auto layout to not auto layout to add frames. It's probably the easiest way to do it. Um, if you want to keep auto layout though, for whatever reason, okay, what you can do is you can set this menu to absolute position, set this menu to absolute position, drag that menu on top, you know, slide these up in the stacking order so that they're, oh, sorry, because they're absolute position, they got to stay at the bottom. So this kind of like buggers up the hole you know, what's on top, what's underneath type thing. Um, but then it's over top of the things I want. So in this case, I can just make this the same size as it originally was, and that's fine. Um, for this one, you know, it's over top of here. I want it kind of in that space again, which is fine. Um, what I'll do here is I'll take this one and I'll add 115 to my padding. And then this guy can come down and it's like it was before. So again, this isn't perfect because, you know, as you add more items, you know, if you're adding them to the bottom, so say I duplicate this, my frame increases, it's all good. Uh, if I add something in here and I reorder, then I'll have to move my menu. But for now, let's give this a try. Uh, I should probably set those to sticky because I think they change. Set that to sticky. Set that to sticky. There we go. Now this should actually work. So now that goes underneath. Oh, see, that still goes underneath. Now why is that? Um, because with these absolute positions, our menu stacking is backwards. So we'll just drag it under there. So there you go. So now that works fine. So when using absolute position and auto layout, the stacking orders kind of get reversed. Um, otherwise, if you only have one, you can do that original stacking. Or like I said, turn it into a frame, don't use auto layout on your overall container and you're gonna be just fine. So what's the other way we can do this? So this is fine if you've got, um, you know, full bars like this, you know, that's great. We'll pull these out. Uh, I'll leave that one in there. But what if this bar is more like, I want it kind of up here, you know, and like that, I've got a, a drop shadow and stuff on it. And then I want it to stick at the top. Well, it's fine. You know, it will do that. But if you want it to give a little bit of padding around here, what you can do is you can, so let's say I've got this, I can, you know, I'm gonna add uh, some rounded corners on there. If I take this, I wrap it in a frame, and I adjust my frame height, and then I can set that to the bottom of the frame, and then this frame is the one that becomes sticky, that will give me the padding to kind of keep it on, on, on top with a little bit of uh, space around it. So that's pretty cool. Um, things that are lacking right now is any sort of transition on scroll. So if you wanted to take this and when it hits the top, transition to a full bar, that is not supported yet. But I guess, you know, baby steps. So thanks uh, for watching. We'll explore more of this a little bit later. And... Uh, 
you know, leave comments and questions uh, in the comments section, like, subscribe, and um, we'll see you next time when maybe I do stick this to the top and expand it. Thanks for watching.